Hello and welcome. Welcome to our broadcast of today. Thank God that he has led you this way to join us. Great and mighty blessings await you because I'm going to part two of the two-part series I started on yesterday, actually on last week, about dreams and especially especially dreams that call for urgent prayers. It's serious, so dreams that call for urgent prayers. If you think the one for you last week was very important, wait till you hear what God has to say today. Dreams that call for urgent prayers, part two. Please don't go anywhere. I will be right back. After these important announcements, number one, I'm inviting you to listen to me on Bishop Etiola's podcast. You can access that podcast by downloading my podcast app on the Google Play Store. For those of you who's, who use the Android phone, but you can also listen directly on the Spreaker app which you can download for both the Android and the Apple phones. Spreaker is spelled S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R. -E -E Come and join listeners from over 45 countries around the world that have downloaded over 71,000 episodes. Incredible. And I implore you to please tell others to come join us. The good thing is that you can go back to the episodes we've had long, long, long time ago. There are over 500 episodes ready for you to listen, free of charge. Don't forget our presence on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and of course MixLR. You can listen to us all for free, and you will be blessed. We're also on television, as many of you are aware of. We're on television in the great country of Guyana. RBS TV 13. Great owners. Great people. We're on there every Saturday from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. That is local time. We're also beaming into 23 Caribbean island countries through Mercy and Truth TV the great country of Jamaica, every Saturday from 2.30 to 3.30 local time. We're on that station also every Wednesday morning at 1.30 a.m. That's local time too. But in addition to these two stations, we're also in Jamaica, Logic One TV, channel 112, three times a week. We are also there many, many times a week with the radio and the prayers that we hold here in New York every Thursday and every Friday. I just want to say this to the owners of this station. We cannot pray for you enough because you've been a blessing to humanity. And I pray that God will bless you and uphold you and keep your family strong and also keep your health strong. I pray that no Absalom will rise up in your business to cause you trouble and turmoil. And may God open more doors for you to beam the gospel across the world. I pray for your health too, owners of the three stations. That God will keep you strong and healthy. The sickness and disease will not build a castle in your bodies. Please don't forget also to listen to us on our own radio station, Fresh Waves Radio. It's on 24-7. And on that station, you can listen to a variety of programming that I'm sure will be a blessing to your soul. Fresh Waves Radio. You can also download the app free of charge for both the Android and the Apple phone from their respective app stores. Just type in Fresh Waves Radio, install the app, and you are good to go. 
But if you want to go the route of your computer, just type freshwavesradio.com and you'll be ready to press on the button that says listen. And you can be there 24 hours of the day if you wish. Please help us spread the word. I want to remind you of our prayers this Thursday night and our prayers this Friday night. 7 p.m. New York time on Facebook Live. That is my own Facebook page. If you will come and join us, you're going to be mildly blessed by God. So many testimonies are coming in, and yours can be one of them. That is this Friday, this Thursday, 7 p.m. on Facebook Live. By the way, we also beam it. On MixLR, we also beam it on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. You're going to be mightily blessed. Like I always say, a trial will not fail to convince you. That's this week Friday, this week Thursday, 7 p.m. New York time, Facebook Live. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us together to this place again. Pray you give me the anointing to speak because without your anointing I'm an empty vessel. Flow through me, God, and let your blessings be upon those who hear me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm talking today again, like I did last week, about dreams that require urgent prayers. If you thought the one for last week was important, wait till I, you hear what I have to say today. Because this time, my emphasis is going to be on dreams that have to do with death. Very common. Very significant. But if you are not taught, you will not know. And many people have died who will have prevented the death if they only were taught to listen to their dreams. But firstly, before I go into the details, let me share with you some general information about dreams. There are basically four types of dreams. Four types. Number one, there are dreams that tell you what has happened. Number two, there are dreams that tell you what is happening right now. Number three, there are dreams that tell you what will happen in the future. And there are dreams, basically, that reflect the way you spent your day. So four types of dreams, all dreams, fall into one of those four categories. Dreams that tell you what has happened Dreams that tell you what is happening, dreams that tell you what will happen, and dreams that are a reflection, that reflect the way you spent your day. Our focus today will be on dreams that tell you what is going to happen. And I think that is understandable because you are not dead yet. So if you have dreams about death, it means God is trying to wake you up. And he's trying to say to you, something is about to happen. Do something about it. Pray about it. These dreams are given to us so we can take necessary precaution, yes, to prevent what is talked about in the dream. Today I'm going to talk about dreams that warn us of impending death. And I would end up giving you a couple of prayer points because it will not be fair for me to teach on these things and not allow you to pray about them. You know, many times God will warn us about impending death. Such dreams call for immediate and urgent intercession. To prevent what is sin from taking place. Dreams about impending death come in one of two ways. All right? 
Number one, they are the dreams you can easily discern as a warning of death. You don't need any Joseph to help you interpret them. You don't need any Daniel to help you interpret them. They are so plain, they are so clear. Unfortunately, as plain and as clear as they come, many people still don't get it. So that's the first type of dreams about death. They can be easily discerned. But the second type of dreams about death are the ones that are not so easily discernible. And it's telling you death is coming. But we don't know what God is saying. Because many times these dreams come in symbols that need interpretation. If you don't know how to interpret, I'm sorry. Death will have knocked on the door and carried the soul away. Let's talk about the first one. The first types of dreams are easy to understand. Like you dream dreams of dying. Then you need to go and pray, my friend. You dream dreams of eating with the flesh. Or, I mean, eating with the dead. You need prayer. Or you dream fellowshipping with the dead as though they were alive. You're going in and out with them. Then there is need for you to rise and pray against death because the living has no fellowship with the dead. Don't be pulled away into the kingdom of the dead, my friends. Another dream about de death that is so plain, that is so clear, is when you find yourself dead or dead person calling you to come, 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 come. They want to call you out of this life. It's time for you to pray against it. Or you find yourself a casket being carried into your home. It may not be for you, it may be for somebody under your roof. I remember in Africa a few years ago, I had a dream. And they were carrying a casket into a house on opposite of my street. And I told my friend with whom I lived, I said, someone is going to die in that place. Believe it or not, within seven days, they carried the casket there and somebody died. When you're having intimacy with the dead, the dead is sleeping with you. Then something is wrong or someone shoots you in a dream. Or a poisonous snake bites you in a dream. Or a lion grabs you and gets hold of your neck and wants to suffocate you in a dream. Then you know death is knocking at your door. I mean, those and other similar dreams uh, don't need anyone to help with interpretation because they are very obvious, they are very clear. And we need to pay attention to them. What to do, ladies and gentlemen, is to pray against them. The moment you wake up, don't even wait till morning to pray against them. The dreams may come back again and again after you have even prayed. That means the deal is sealed. You remember what I told you last week? When you dream a dream twice, it means that it is established and it means it will, it will happen very soon. So if you pray about these clear dreams of death, but even after prayer, they keep coming back. That should not make you give up. That should not make you say, well, I guess it's sealed. I need to go get ready for death. No, there is nothing that is sealed. That our God cannot unseal. Did you hear what I said? There's no done deal that God cannot undo. So if you see yourself in a dream and you are dying in a dream or some of these things that I mentioned are happening to you in a dream, it's time to go to God and say, God, I know it's established and I know it's going to happen very soon. But I thank you because I have examples in the Bible of somebody and people that got their life extended. I think the death of King Hezekiah was signed and sealed and even delivered by the prophet of God. 
It was God who sent him the, the uh, message. He said, go to Hezekiah and go and tell him to put his house in order because he's going to die. Hezekiah said, uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm not going to die. I'm going to pray against this prophecy. I'm going to pray against this revelation. The same way you need to do when dreams about death are so clearly sent to you in a dream, in a vision, it's time to rise up and be another Hezekiah and say, Lord, I stand my ground. I'm not going to die. I'm going to live to declare the works of God. Look at the story in Isaiah chapter 38. I'm reading there in verse number one. And in those days, Hezekiah was sick unto death. And Isaiah, the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Look at what Hezekiah did. Hezekiah refused to set his house in order. He turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto the Lord and said, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah and said, Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, you will not die, but rather I will add unto thy days 15 more years. You know the lesson I learned from here about dreams of death that require urgent prayers? Never, hear me clearly, never take dreams of death as irreversible death sentence. Can I repeat that? Don't ever take dreams of death as irreversible sentence to die. Prayer changes things, and prayer changes death to life also. Any dream that passes a verdict of death on you, you can take it back to the one that gave it to you and say, Lord, I'm not dying. It's not my time yet. And that's what Hezekiah did. God still answers prayers. Now all I've said right now, so far, is about dreams that are very obvious. You know this is talking about, nothing could be as obvious as what was told Hezekiah, even though it was not in a dream. There are dreams that are so obvious like that, that this is death here. Now that one is easy to deal with. The other one that troubles me today, and very deeply too, and you need to listen very closely to this. The other one that troubles me very deeply are dreams about death that are not so obvious. Because except through an interpreter, you may not even see death in the figurative language of the dream. You just have the dream, and if you are to interpret the dream, you will never see death in it, and yet, everything about the dream is death. Let me share the details of a dream in the Bible. It was a dream of death, and the dreamer never knew that the dream had to do with his death until a good interpreter helped him to unravel the dream. The dream is recorded in Genesis chapter 40. I wish I could read more scriptures, but let me just limit myself to the specific dream and the specific interpretation given to it. Genesis 40, you know the story very well. In verse 16, when the chief baker saw that the interpretation was good, he said unto Joseph, I also was in my dream, and behold, I had three white baskets on my head, 
and in the uppermost basket there was of all manner of big meats for Pharaoh. And the birds did eat them out of the basket upon my head. And Joseph answered in interpreting the dream and said, This is the interpretation thereof. The three baskets are three days. Mm. Yet, within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thy head from off thee, and shall hang thee on a tree, and the bird shall eat thy flesh from off thee. And guess what happened? In verse 20, And it came to pass, the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday, that he made a feast unto his servants, and he lifted up the head of the chief butler, and of the chief baker, among his servants, and restored the chief butler unto his butlership, and he gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand. But he hanged the chief baker, as Joseph had interpreted to them. Hmm, Lord have mercy. One will dream a dream like this and associate it with death. No one, no one, no one would dream a dream like this and think it has anything to do with death because you don't see death in the dream at all. That is what makes the prayer points I'm about to give you very important prayer points. You notice in the dream? <laughs> There was no casket in the dreams, my friends. None whatsoever. There was no dead person in the dream at all. There was no gun shot in that dream. No snake bite in that dream. Just innocent birds being fed. Listen to this. In fact, Animal rights people who dream this kind of dream will be happy to see themselves feeding poor birds. They will be happy that this is what I live my life for in real life. And I, in my dream, birds are able to come and eat of the meal on my head. Yet, he had only three days to leave. Serious stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, very, very serious stuff. Listen to Bishop. Sometimes you dream a dream about someone and in three days or three months they die and you wonder, wait a minute, I had a dream about this guy three days ago, but my dream had nothing to do with death. When actually... It did. Just that you are not trained to interpret your dreams. Well, my focus today is not on how to interpret dreams. That will be for another time. But you need to pray. And we are going to pray it also that God will give you discernment to be able not to dream dreams alone to be able to know what God is saying to you. But back to the dream. Here is a rule of thumb. Alright? Every dream, like I said last week, is either good or bad, depending on the content or depending on how it ends. The content of a dream and how it ends is either good or bad. If it falls under the category of a bad dream, then don't waste time. Immediately pray against it with all your strength. Even if you don't know the meaning, pray against it. If you have to fast, fast against it. Unfortunately, this baker did none of that. 
He was very fortunate, fortunate enough to have a clear interpretation. But he did nothing about it. He just accepted his fate and died just like the dream interpreted to him meant. Unlike Hezekiah, thank God, he knew what was coming and he reversed the prophecy. You don't die. Listen to this. You don't die because you dream a dream that means death. No. Can I repeat? You don't die because you dream a dream that can be interpreted correctly to mean death. No. You die because you don't pray against a dream that means death. If you can pray against it, if you can stand against it, if you can fast against it, like Hezekiah did, you're going to live and not die. That's why I want to stop at this point and pray with you for the next half hour about this very, very serious subject of dreams that call for urgent prayers, especially dreams about death. Maybe the enemy is trying to get you to die. It's gone to a wrong place. We're going to pray against those dreams that we know point to death. And even if we don't know that they point to death, as long as they are bad dreams, whatever they mean, we can take them to God. And ask him to reverse the evil and turn them into good. You ready? Let's spend the next half hour calling on God about your dream, about my dream. And God will elongate your life and put death behind you. Let's thank God for using dreams to alert us about issues around us. Come on, open your mouth and give him praise. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we adore you. Thank you for giving us dreams to alert us, to wake us up in the mighty name of Jesus about issues around us. And many, 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 many times in the past, you have used dreams to help our lives. Father, we come to say thank you for all the dreams you've given us in the past. I remember one time I had a dream of having accident twice in a day and my wife and I were to travel ladies and gentlemen I still went ahead and traveled but I did not pray against the dreams well that Sunday was a Sunday I had accident twice on that same day I just want us to thank God today that God has been good to us to reveal things to us either directly or indirectly it doesn't matter at least we know whether they are bad or whether they are good Come on, give God the praise, give God the glory, give God the honor, give God the dominion, give God the majesty. Pray that the spirit of prayer will fall upon you mightily as we pray for the next 29 minutes or so that God will help you to be able to pray intensely about this very serious subject of dreams and especially dreams about death. First of all, I want us to pray. Say, O oh Lord, I pray that you will bring to my remembrance Dreams that I have forgotten to pray about in the mighty name of Jesus. If you pray that prayer by faith right now, it will come back to your remembrance. Dream that you had this week, that you had last month, that you had last quarter. I want you to pray, Lord, if there is a dream I need to do something about and I've forgotten, Lord, bring it back to my remembrance right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray for every man, every woman under the sound of my voice right now. If there be any dream that they need to remember and they need to pray about urgently, I pray you will bring it back to their memories, you will bring it back to their understanding so they can come before you and bring them before you and settle them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to pray that these prayers of today will settle issues 
about dreams of death concerning you, whether you know them or you don't know them, if they are dreams of death, say, O oh Lord, settle them for me this morning, this afternoon, this evening, depending on the time that you are watching this program. Say, every plan to take me out of this world before my time. I pray that the prayers of today will settle and cancel them for me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let these prayers of today settle issues. Issues of dreams about death. Let the prayers of today settle them for me, oh Lord my God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Can I ask you to pray that sin and unbelief will not hinder your prayers today in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus. Come on. Say, Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus. Don't allow sin, don't allow unbelief to hinder my prayers from coming straight to you today. In the name of Jesus, the psalmist said, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. I want you to pray and say, Lord, please hear me today. Don't let sin block me. Don't let unbelief block me, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. 28 minutes are long enough. I want you to pray that the Lord will give you grace to pay attention, grace to focus. Even as we call upon God today in the name of Jesus. Say, O oh Lord, let my mind, O oh Lord, not be diverted from the prayers of today, but help me to focus on why I am here, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, grace to always pay attention attention to my dreams especially. Come on, open your mouth and pray about that. Say, Lord, give me grace to always pay attention to my dreams. I want you to pray that the Lord will help you not to ignore them when God gives them to you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Papa, help me to always pay attention to my dreams and not just ignore them like we have done so many, 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 many times. The book of Job says that God speaks once, God speaks twice in dreams and yet people don't pay attention to them. I want you to pray that the Lord will forgive you for important dreams, important revelations that you have ignored. Oh Lord God, from now on in the name of Jesus, give us grace, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, to pay attention to our dreams, oh God. Don't just look at me, I want you to open your mouth and pray also that the Lord will give you the grace. The Lord will give you the strength. The Lord will give you the power to always pay attention to your dreams. And where the dreams have stopped coming, the Lord will unstop them in the name of Jesus. Sometimes the enemy will come and war against you. Many of us used to dream dreams, accurate dreams. Uh, dreams that even need no interpretation. But the enemy has come and has shut the door against you. Say, oh Lord, open the door, open the door, open the door for me to be able to see, for me to be able to know, for me to be able to hear in the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus where my dreams have been stopped, where my dreams have been blocked. Father, unblock me, unstop me, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Say, O Lord, where I have been blocked and stopped from seeing dreams and from remembering them. Say, O Lord, unblock me, unblock me, unblock me, unblock me today in the name of Jesus where I have been blocked from remembering my dreams. O Lord, unblock me and release me in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. No matter how tired I am, O God, I will wake up and my dreams will be fresh in my mind in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Can I ask you to pray something else? That the Lord will help you uh, not to take any bad dream lightly from now on. Uh, that if I dream a bad dream, uh, the Lord will give me the grace not to take them lightly from now on. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, say, O oh Lord, uh, I thank you for the power to dream dreams. Uh, I thank you for the grace to dream dreams. Uh, but I need your help, O oh God, uh, not to take any negative dream lightly from now on. Uh, I think we get so careless uh, and we say, well, I don't know what I ate last night. It's not about what you ate last night. It's about something, it is about something urgent that the Father is trying to tell you uh, and you cannot take it lightly. Uh, say, oh Lord, uh, help me not to take lightly, oh Lord, uh, any bad dream, even any good dream. Uh, help me not to take them lightly, but to take them to the throne of grace, uh, to take them to the almighty God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I want to say, oh Lord, help me to see my dream. 
means uh, as a vehicle uh, of God's mercy to me. Uh, from now on, uh, help me to see my dreams, O oh God, uh, as a vehicle uh, of God's mercy. Uh, let me look at my dreams as God being merciful to me to let me know ahead of time. Uh, Papa, let that be the portion of those that are watching me today, and let that be my portion also in the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. Uh, that I will see dream as mercy uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, can I ask you to pray for grace? Say, I receive grace right now. Come on, open your mouth and pray. Say, I receive grace right now. Come on, talk to the Lord, people. Say, I receive grace right now uh, to mightily call on God uh, against all dreams of death. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Papa, I receive grace right now uh, to cry mightily upon you, unto you, O Lord, uh, to cry mightily unto God, O God, uh, in the name of Jesus, about dreams on death. Uh, in the name of Jesus, say, O Lord, as I cry today, uh, say, O Lord, as I cry today, uh, reverse all dreams of death against my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, say, all dreams of death, uh, I command you to be reversed. All dreams of dreams of untimely death be reversed by fire. Be reversed by fire. Be reversed by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All dreams that indicate I'm about to be taken out of the land of the living. I cancel you by fire. I destroy you by fire. I shall not die. I shall live. Open your mouth and pray like Hezekiah prayed. The Bible says Hezekiah wept so he faced a wall he faced a wall and he said I'm not going to die oh God I want you to tell the Lord today that I'm not going to die I'm going to live say oh Lord as you added to the life of Hezekiah add to my life oh Lord fruitful years in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth even as we cry this day add more years to our lives reverse death turn it into life reverse death turn it into life reverse death turn it into life any dream about a sickness any dream about cancer any dream about present sickness or future sickness taking you out the lord will crush them and destroy them in the name of jesus say any dream about pending death you shall not prosper against me in the name of jesus any dream about pending death you shall not prosper against me or anyone that I have dreamt about in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know, I had a dream about somebody while I was in Africa, somebody here in the U.S. I had a dream and in the dream she fell down and couldn't get up. And I said, what kind of dream is this? And I came back, I told my usher, I said, we need to pray for so and so. I think the enemy is trying to take her out. Well, we prayed just a little bit. I wish we prayed more in Intensely, and uh, before long, not up to six months, uh, she passed away. Of course, in good old age, but she could have lived more. I believe. Uh, I wanted to pray that all pending dream, all dread dreams of death uh, that are pending against me, O oh God, uh, they shall not prosper against me in the name of Jesus uh, or anyone that I've dreamt it about, uh, either in my family or in my church or at my place of work. Uh, Papa, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Papa, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, any pending death that I've seen in my dreams, cancel them, let them not prosper. Papa, cancel them, let them not prosper. Let them not prosper against me. Let them not prosper against those that I've dreamt about. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray about dreams, dreams of death that are clouded in symbols that you don't understand. I want you to pray, oh Lord, whether I understand them or whether I don't understand them. Them, whether they are just symbolic or they are real. Papa, any dream, any dream about death, clouded in symbols, oh Lord God, let them not prosper against me in the name of Jesus. What we are praying about is this, that you will not be taken unawares in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Open your mouth and pray wherever you are today that dreams that you don't know the meaning of and yet your days are numbered to die. Papa, in the name of Jesus, show mercy and deliver me. Papa, show mercy and deliver me in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Say, oh Lord, I start up fires of war against the gates of death in my life. Oh Lord, let fires of war rise up against the gates of death in my life. In the name of Jesus, the gates of hell, the gates of death shall not prevail against me in the name of Jesus. Papa, let fire burn them down. Let fire burn them down. Come on, fire, 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 fire. Every handwriting of death against my life, every plan of death against my life. Oh Lord, every sentence of death written against my life. Fire of God, consume them. Fire of God, destroy them. Fire of God, consume them. Fire of God, destroy them. Today, 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 everyone that is watching me right now or anyone that is listening to me on any of our platforms, any plan of death against your life, may fire consume, may fire destroy, may fire consume, may fire destroy, may fire consume any obituary that they have already issued in the realm of the spirit against you. In the name of Jesus, we consume them, we destroy them, we start up fires against those papers of death. It shall not prosper against you. It shall not walk against your loved ones. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray today that we are like the baker. Chia. We are like the baker. Dates have been set for your death. Say, oh Lord, reverse them, reverse them, reverse them. In the name of Jesus. For the baker, three days. And he was dead three days. I want you to pray today. Maybe it's three months. Maybe it's three years. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. We are like the baker. Dates have been set for my death. Oh Lord, I reverse them by fire. Let your favor reverse them. Let your mercy reverse them. Let your goodness reverse them for me. I shall not keep that appointment with death. Whatever has been set in three days, in three months, in thirty days, I shall not keep that appointment. I will not keep that appointment. I must not keep that appointment. Come on, don't just look at me. I want you to pray. I'm giving you prayer points. Pray them, pray them, pray them, pray them, pray them. That every appointment of death, every appointment with death that has been shown you in any dream, whether you knew it or you don't know it, say, Father, in your mercy, nullify them, cancel them, nullify them, cancel them, Papa, nullify them and cancel them today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to pray that we are like the baker. Mm, any type of death that has been determined against my life, I reject you, I reject you, I reject you, I reject you. They said Pharaoh is going to just kill you and hang you on a tree and birds will be coming to pick on your head. Say any type of death determined against my life through any dream that I know, through any dream that I don't know. Say, Father, I reject them. I cancel them. I reject them. I cancel them in the name of Jesus. Let's talk about death. Death connected to your employment. Death connected to your ministry. Death connected to your marriage. Death connected to your family. Because many times the dream you dream has nothing to do with physical death. It could even be spiritual death. Say anything that has to do with death. My spiritual death. My business death. My marital death. My employment death. My professional death. You shall not be fulfilled. You will not be fulfilled. You shall not be fulfilled. You will not be fulfilled against my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray against untimely death. Say all dreams pointing to untimely death for me, O oh God. They shall not be fulfilled in my life. They will not be fulfilled in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I hope you are praying where you are today that dreams, dreams pointing to untimely death. They shall not be fulfilled in your life. The dream that the baker that dreamt was an untimely death for him. He could have lived longer like the butler lived longer but the dream show 
told he was going to die and he died. I want you to pray every dream that is untimely death for me, for my husband, for my wife, for my children, for my father, for my mother, for my family. Papa can sue them by fire. Papa release, oh Lord, thunder and fire against such verdicts. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Dreams that are pointed to untimely death for my life. You shall not be fulfilled. You will not be fulfilled. You must not be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus, set fire on the caskets. 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 Say, I set on fire. Caskets of darkness. Caskets of darkness that are fashioned against me in my dreams. Come on, catch fire. Come on, catch fire. Come on, catch fire. Come on, catch fire. I'm not going into your casket that you have already built. In the name of Jesus, I'm sending your casket into the fire of God right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O oh Lord, all caskets and all graves that have been dug to put the casket inside, Papa, cover them with fire. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want you to pray that when your adversaries rise up to devour your flesh in a dream, I hope you are praying where you are. Say, O oh Lord, where my adversaries are risen up to devour my flesh in a dream. Oh Lord, let them stumble and fall. Let them stumble and fall. Let them stumble and fall. Where adversaries are risen up against me to devour my flesh, to destroy my flesh, to destroy my body. Oh Lord God, let that dream not come to pass. Let those who are planning it stumble. Let those who are planning it fall. I hope you are praying where you are today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We have just 10 more minutes to pray. Say, oh Lord, wicked powers. Open your mouth and pray, people. Say wicked powers that are parading as dangerous animals in your dream. Command them to stumble and fall. You know, they can come in form of a snake, in form of a dog, in form of a lion, in form of whatever to devour you. Have you ever seen people that they said they slept and they didn't wake up? They had a dream. Many of them had dreams. And, they, you know, the doctors will say they had this condition, they had that condition, but only God knows the dream they had that took them away. I want you to pray today. Uh, say dreams that take people away. You will not take me away in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh Lord, wicked powers, uh, witchcraft powers uh, that are parading as dangerous animals uh, in my dream. Uh, stumble and fall. Uh, stumble and fall. Uh, I want you to pray that they will not have access to you. Uh, I want you to pray that they will not have access to your family. Uh, I want you to pray they will not have access to your children. Uh, wicked powers uh, that are parading as dangerous animals. Uh, you know these wicked powers will take on uh, the attire of an animal uh, to devour you while you are asleep. Uh, say, I shall not succumb to their plan. Uh, I shall not succumb to their plan. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, say, every contract of death. Uh, every contract of death uh, that have ignorantly signed. Uh, oh Lord, I reverse them. I reverse them. I reverse them. I reverse them. Come on, reverse them, my friends. Uh, come on, reverse them, my friends. Uh, say, every contract contract with death that I've unknowingly signed in my dream. I reject them. I reject them. Every contract, every contract of death that I've ignorantly signed in my dream, unconsciously signed in my dream. It's not me. It's you. In the name of Jesus. Papa, reverse them. Papa, cancel them. Father, reverse them. Father, cancel them. Every voice from the grave. Come on, pray, 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 pray today. Every voice from the grave calling for me. I also cry against you today. Say every voice from any grave that is calling for me. I cry against you. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced. Every voice from the grave calling for me to come and join them in the grave. I am not joining you. I still have years to live on earth. I still have things to do for God. I still have accomplished 
business to accomplish as they have children and need to raise every cry that is raising up against me in any grave calling me to come I command you voice be silenced I command you voice be silenced in the name of Jesus every wicked dream pray 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 pray, pray, pray. this morning this afternoon this evening say any wicked dream whether I know the meaning or I don't know the meaning drawing me to the grave of untimely death I command that dream to catch fire I command that dream to be nullified I command that dream to be destroyed I command that dream don't come to pass I command that dream don't come to pass I command that dream don't come to pass you are not my portion in the name of Jesus let's come against shadow of death shadow of death shadow of death shadow of death see every shadow of death hovering over my life in my dreams receive divine termination in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus say every shadow of death hovering over my head in my dreams be terminated be destroyed receive divine termination in the name of the Father in the name of the Son in the name of the Holy Ghost every shadow of death hovering over my head saying come and die come and die come and die I am not coming I am coming to live and not to die in the name of Jesus say every dream chain yes say every dream chain yes say every dream chain of untimely death drawing me dragging me to the gates of death I am not your candidate break into pieces I am not your candidate catch fire into pieces born to ashes in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I said every chain in my dream dream of untimely death wrapped around me and dragging me and drawing me to the gates of death I'm not your candidate today be destroyed by fire chains be destroyed by fire chains of death be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I want you to pray today that every debt collecting power did you hear what I said every debt collecting power that pursued my ancestors that pursued my parents and is now pursuing me for the debts I did not owe I terminate your evil mission in my life say blood of Jesus say blood of Jesus come on say blood of Jesus every debt collecting power all they are collecting is death oh they are not collecting money they are collecting death I want you to pray 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 whatever death is in your family uh, calling them to untimely death uh, their mission to you will be mission impossible uh, in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus uh, you kill grandpa you kill great grandpa and now you kill my father and now you are after me I am not your candidate I belong to Jesus uh, say blood of Jesus uh, say blood of Jesus uh, is against you the blood is against you the blood is against you the blood is against you messenger of death uh, against my life Life. messenger of death against my life the blood is against you right now in the name of Jesus I want you to pray that every demon every evil spirit parading your dream say every demon say every evil spirit parading my dream to eat flesh and to drink blood your mission is mission impossible against my life in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus say every evil spirit say every demon parading reading my dream to eat my flesh to drink my blood I declare your mission as impossible I declare your mission as impossible I declare your mission as impossible in the name of Jesus say where is the God of Elijah say where is the God of Elijah appear in my dreams swallow up death and the manipulation of them in the name of Jesus say God of Elijah appear in my dreams and swallow up death and the manipulation of death in my dreams in the name of Jesus say I mention your name say I mention your name say I cancel all dates with death that have been signed and sealed against me in any dream all 
dates with death, all appointments with death that have been signed and sealed against my life in any dream. I cancel all those dates in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. There's something in Africa, oh, we call it masquerades. That's when they cover their head and they are talking funny talk and they are demonic when they show up in your dreams. I want you to pray that every power transforming into masquerades in the night in order to attack you in your dreams. See, every power, every masquerade, Africans understand what I'm talking about. They dress, they dress up and down. You don't see their hair, you don't see any part, and they are talking funny. Say every power, every wicked power, transforming into masquerades in the night in order to attack me in my dreams. Be exposed and be destroyed. Be exposed and be destroyed. Say every power, transforming into animals in the night to attack me in my dreams. Disappear, 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 disappear. Say I shall prevail. Come on, open your mouth. Say I shall prevail. We got just about one and a half more minutes to go. Say I shall prevail. Say I will prevail with man and with God and with spirits in every area of my dream life in the name. I love that prayer. Say I shall prevail. Say I will prevail. Say I must prevail. Say it again. Say by the grace of God. Say I shall prevail. Say I will prevail. Say I must prevail with man, with God, and with wicked spirits in every area of my dream life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will prevail. I must prevail. I shall prevail with man, with God, and with spirits in every area of my dream life. In the name of Jesus. Caskets catch fire. Caskets catch fire. Caskets catch fire. Every casket prepared by the agent of death for my life in any dream. Catch fire and burn down to ashes in the name of Jesus and every pit. Say every pit that has been dug for my life by agents of death. Agents of death. Every pit that they have made for you by agents of death. Let it swallow those agents. Pits. Swallow those agents. Pits. Made for my wife. Made for my husband, made for my children, made for my parents. Peace, swallow those who have dug you in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Papa, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me from witchcraft, witchcraft powers. We are going to close now, tormenting your life with the spirit of death. Say every witchcraft power, tormenting my life with the spirit of death. Die in my place, in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft power. Every marine spirit power, every voodoo power, for tormenting my life through the spirit of death, die in my place. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray as we close that the Lord will grant you extension of life. Not only will God cancel death, the God will grant you extension of life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. I bless you in the name of the Father. I bless you in the name of the Son. I bless you in the name of the Holy Ghost. I speak life into your life life and I remove death from your life in the name of the Lord. Any dream that we have canceled today, they are canceled forever. And may you go on and enjoy your life. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. And everybody said amen and amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'll be back again next week. God's sparing our lives to bring you more thought-provoking truths. Until then, May God keep you safe. May God keep you alive. Bye-bye.